Hey everyone, it's Kyle from Regrettable Props, and we're going to be covering the chest plate abs and the pauldrons for the Mandalorian armor. Uh, here you can see the layout of how it's going to be with ab plate number one going on top, ab plate number two behind, and the chest plates are going to be gluing on top. Current foam I'm using, it's black and blue color in nature. It's going to be five millimeters in thickness, and we are going to be tracing some detail or some lines on the back of the like side parts for the chest plate for where we're scoring they're either going to be v grooves or score lines it'll be indicated on the templates and this is so you can get a seamless look for those parts so it wraps around the edge of the armor and here is what we're looking for v groove at top score line on the bottom i did not while cutting out these chest templates make it 45 degree angles so i am needing to go back into that now and uh making that so we can get a 45 degree bevel on the one side where those side pieces are going to be meeting up and then that middle chest piece is just going to be scored you can use a dremel to uh round it and better into shape moving on to ab plate number one Currently tracing out the line for where ab plate number two is going to be glued in from behind and where it's going to be resting. And then following the same thing, we're going to be cutting away the template and indicating, on, like tracing on the back where we're going to be wanting those score lines, not going all the way through or score lines or doing the V grooves. So I'm going to kind of let play out and come back in when I need to speak again.
So once you got everything cut out and uh, scored and grooved for the ab plates, the chest and such, we're going to be gluing it, uh, filling in from behind so those creases are on the front and just going to keep on following along, hold it in place until it's uh, dried and then do the same thing for the ab plates and you're going to be uh, gluing them all together. Once everything's glued, uh, this is what the layout's going to be. App plate 1 and 2 are glued together and figure out roughly where you want the chest section to glue on your app plate number 2. So now we're going to cover the pauldrons. And as you can see here, uh, we're going to do this whole section out of 5mm foam. Uh, 5mm as well for this outside edge. And for this inner tiny strip, we're going to use two millimeter. Uh, the piece of foam that goes along this part, the middle, that covers up the seam lines of the two halves will be done in 10 millimeter. I think it should be done in seven, but I don't have seven millimeter foam. I have 10, five, and two. So that's what I'm going to be using. That's my suggestion for you guys who have that. Uh, so let's get this started. I'm going to cut out the one half and then remembering to flip this over for the other side of the template. So we're going to cut all these edges out on 90 degrees. So I'm going to do that and then jump ahead. So after cutting these out, I'm going to use a heat gun off camera and then you'll see me doing a time lapse of gluing the gear with hot glue. Um, the pre forming with the heat gun makes it easier to bend them into shape when gluing that way you have less uh, tension pulling them apart so i'm just going to jump ahead and do that and when you see me next they'll be gluing these together so actually i went ahead and just glued it together uh that you can see uh this glooms glue this glue seam is not pretty it's fine it's going to be covered up by foam so it's all good i will heat shape this a little bit further once we have these extra detail pieces on okay so so when i was making the templates i uh had the extra trim piece go to the very edge which is not accurate because you have to have that huge strip that goes down the middle so uh, when I put out the templates I will adjust that uh, just so you guys know uh, to accommodate for the space of this so that way when I uh, I glue this all together I need to cut off some of the excess when I put this 10 millimeter strip down it so with the 10 millimeter foam I'm gonna cut a one inch wide strip uh, longer than this that way I can cut it to the proper size and I will show you guys doing that process there I'm gonna cut this to allow the space for it to fit the length of this and then I'll trim it to fit okay so I off screen uh, glued these on you can see here where the score piece is and here when I made the templates I made these detail pieces go right to the center um, which is not correct because it doesn't leave space for this bridge piece to cover the seam so be aware of that when you guys are building that and following along what I'm gonna do now is using 10 millimeter foam cut a 
five inch strip that will go the length of this. So now I'm gonna trim these back so that way it will fit this. And I'm gonna do that off camera and glue it into place. So this is where we're at right now. I cut my thumb. Um, <laughs> And this is what it's like. I need to add some glue on the sides of here, but it's looking pretty good so far. Uh, we'll heat shape it a little bit more once we have uh, some the rest of the detail on. So right now, I'm gonna jump cut and cut out the two millimeter foam strip that goes along this edge and just do it from here to here on both sides. So here it is. Uh, I did a two millimeter foam strip along the bottom and I shaped it a little bit more of the heat gun on the back side. That way it doesn't melt or have any of this two millimeter foam curl. Uh, you can use some quick seal to fill in these gaps. I have textured foam on the back so I can't stack pieces up flush so there's going to be some gaps where the texture is. You can use quick seal obviously to fill in that.